What is happening in the United States, there's a huge exponential growth of what's so-called the holistic health or the wellness industry. When you look on the left side, uh, taking back to 1700 uh, uh, something, uh, Dr. Andrew Tello Steele, who was a medical doctor, he founded the first college of osteopathic medicine and he came up with the tenet of osteopathy, that the body, the human body, has its own innate ability to self-healing, self-regulation, self-health maintenance. So what's going wrong? Why does the system co collapse? So we consider the human being, the human body as the system, but whereas that system may collapse when it lacks the fuels, when we do not abide with, with, what, with what we call the, um, the ecological system of the laws of the uh, cosmogenic laws of the nature. We need to respect the way it is. We need to abide just if we want really to maintain the human healthcare system. So when you look on the right, the fields, these are the missing parts. This is the missing part. So what, what we came to discover, we found that the fields, the four essential elements of life, uh, namely, specifically, exclusively, water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy, are the, they represent the entire fuel of the human body. The system based on the tenet of osteopathy, yes, that's possible, but in subject that we need to maintain that system to function by refueling it, maintain those fuels, these natural fuels, which cannot be invented by any human being or cannot be repl replicated. You know, any of them, energy, water, energy cannot be created based on the laws of thermodynamics. Water cannot be created, oxygen, hydrogen, they are there, it's there in the environment, it's there in the nature. But that's in the beginning, the source of creation of every human being, without an exemption. So what we do here, we're working hard in the United States with our brand of Aqua Revitalize for the reasons that we believe the exponential growth and technological advance and also research, scientific, pharmacology, I mean, the big pharma they've done, they spend trillions and trillions in doing tremendous research in finding uh, possible of people globally to live healthy life. So we invite them because this is the new revolution. This revolution is happening by itself. You know, it's up by itself. So we try to invite, we invite pharmaceutical industries with the, if it takes one billion dollar to make one drug and it takes up to 15 years, that's a lot of money, a lot of investment. But we believe the human being today is starting to go through lifestyle change, understand how you were created, understand what were the fuels that have played a role to make you your, your, your growth and development completed without any other interference. So the moment we, we believe that we, if we invite pharmaceutical industries and we invite the professional Medical staff, uh, you know, to, they job are they, they're professional. They understand how does the human body function in terms of diagnosing, in terms of uh, consultations, in terms of uh, helping the society in lifestyle changes. So we, we need them. We need all those medical staff. And we need and we invite the investment, the pharmaceutical industry to invest in the what we call the wellness project, which are they consider the 21st century healthcare system. And this well, well, wellness project, they need to be spread all over the world. We're talking about 7.8 billion population. They need it. They need it in a form of uh, different uh, uh, services like wellness centers just to serve the society within area. The wellness lodging is part for people coming from some distance. They need some kind of uh, revitalization and energizing. And wellness resort and spa on a quite a bigger scale that's like a, a five-star hotel and so on, luxurious hotels and resort and spa. And wellness cities, we can create wellness cities, but we need, we need without the, without the collaboration with the pharmaceutical industry, without the collaboration and the partnership with the medical staff, then it's going to be a big challenge because we need them. They've done a, a lot. When you look carefully at the statistics of the, the global wellness economy, at, in 2015, it already generated 3.7 trillion dollar, and it, 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 it increased by uh, 4.2 trillion dollar in 2017. That is statistics according to Global Awareness Economy, Global Awareness Institute.
that equivalent to 6.4 plus percent annually and by 2018 it's already it was already by 4.5 trillion dollar that's equivalent to two times than the global economic growth uh, which stood at 3.6 that's before the coronavirus pandemic and that's uh, more than two, half of the global health expenditures, which stand at, uh, stood at uh, $7.3 trillion, according to WHO, World Health Organization. And if you compare with the pharmaceutical market, it's already five times surpassed the pharmaceutical market, which stood at uh, $934.8 billion in two, 2017. So uh, this according to the marketresearch.com. So that means the world is now shifting to lifestyle change. So for this reason, pharmaceutical industry, they need to start to pull the money slowly, slowly, put to support, because both, all this, they come into the same service, is to create, to secure a good, healthy living style to all people all over the world. So pharmaceutical industry, bring your money and do this, accept these changes, this revolution that we, we believe is considered the fifth uh, uh, industrial revolution is going to take care, uh, going to take place mostly in the healthcare system.